All right, we know the garage, doing a redo in a garage, getting it all ready. You wanna get the inside looking great. And that's, yeah, that's one of the most important parts because you're gonna be inside it all the time. But what if you walk up to a just total piece of trash and it looks gorgeous inside? The gorgeous inside doesn't matter. So you need to think a little about what you're doing outside. So today we've got to focus on the outside of this garage because it was looking really tough. It had been worn down, nobody had done anything with it for 60 years. We have the ugly walls of the garage, first of all, we had to contend with to get the stucco back to where it should be. And then we also had a small patio which is in front of it, which was just perfect for the asking. Except the wall was really rough looking and we needed to make it, uh, think of a wall around a little hacienda. We wanted to make it a patio, so if you had a barbecue there, you could put some chairs around and you kind of felt like you were in a outdoor living room. During these projects, you're going to have to make make all kinds of decisions on the fly. So here's how my conversation went with my technician on how we were gonna resurrect this strange wall around the patio and what we were gonna do with the paper. Yeah, and he said he was adding more to that. And the cap's not that big, right? The cap's not that big, it's the same size as this? No, it's just a little bit overlap. Are they gonna be stuck of the same color as this? Can no, we stucco? They, you can use like a gray. If we can do it afterwards, after we see how the stucco looks, it would be mm -hmm. great. It's either gonna look too finished because <laughs> or, it's my opinion. Mm -hmm. You can do that one and paint. But in two months, the paint is already dirty yeah, because it has a lot of rain. And, and then you should put like a cap, brick cap, yeah. like a paper. They stay here for five, ten. And then if you seal, seal it, mm -hmm. stay forever. So a couple of things that we did to this space to make it look better was here. We actually added a threshold because there wasn't one here, so it was going straight into dirt, so now it's the same level here. We added these toppers, which I think makes it look a little bit more classic and finished. This used to be old cinder blocks that you could see, and it wasn't they weren't stuccoed, it was just like people put it up there just to have a wall, but we were able to kind of make it, there's an entrance way, and then it wrapped around. It used to have a huge hole here, but we actually filled it in, so it actually looks like an area that you want to welcome your friends at, have four people stay, and then have outdoor furniture here and maybe a grill somewhere so they can actually do stuff. And that seems welcoming and it looks good as well. We had some holes over here. So this used to be a little wall and then there was nothing here. So we actually filled it in and it looks all like it's been here forever. And we also wanted to put the stucco texture on the wall so it looks like what it was from the house. So it looks just more cohesive. And it's going to look primo once it's all painted and I cannot wait until you get to see that.